Hello again everybody and welcome back to another review. Today I'll be reviewing a very unique twin set, that being Dragon's Kenneth R. Baura, a DX05 exclusive 2-pack. One figure depicts Mr. Baura during his time in Vietnam, while the other during his time in Afghanistan. This set really stands out in the collection as I have no other figure of the same person from two different conflicts. Besides that, the Vietnam version really stands out as by 2005 Dragon had stopped making Vietnam war figures, but they really went all in with this one in terms of his weapon, uniform and gear. Kenneth Rhodes Baura, born October 23, 1948, is a retired Major General who served with the US Army for 33 years, from 1970 to 2003. During that time, he was involved in the Vietnam War, Cambodian Civil War, Somalia. During that time, he was involved in the Vietnam, Cambodian, Somali and Gulf War, just to name a few. There are some excellent interviews of him which are available on YouTube, which I have included in the description of this video. I highly recommend them if you are interested in uh, military history. Now on to the figures. I want to start with the Vietnam version, starting with the head. As you can see, it comes with a very unique piece of uh, headgear, that being this green bandana. And the head sculpt. I think Dragon did a really great job. Next is a uh, uniform. As you can see, he has his knife there, uh, two grenades, and a strobe light. What I like about his uh, uh, jacket is that it actually comes with a uh, pockets on his shoulders which I think really stands out they look great and of course on his belly over there he has a AK-47 magazine pouch and his primary weapon the CAR-15 on his left hand is a watch with a very long uh, a strap and on his right he has some uh, jewellery and on his belt on his webbing, he has uh, lots of uh, magazine pouches. Though some are actually uh, canteen covers which he uses to store magazines. I would just like to point out that this figure comes with a, a lot of magazines. The most for any figure I have, around 25. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of magazines. And his pants and his boots. And this is the back of the figure. Starting with the head. Here you can see another shot of the bandana and his webbing. As you can see, he has uh, the magazines inside his uh, canteen pouch. And this is the Afghanistan version, starting with the head. As you can see, it comes with this nice uh, black beret with the eagle insignia. And head sculpt. And what I like is they didn't use the exact same head sculpt. In fact, uh, they actually used a different one. This one being a older version. And you can really tell uh, the difference in person. And his uniform with his um, badges and insignia. I apologize. I believe I have placed uh, one of the badges wrong. That being the free fall uh, badge over there. And on his webbing, he has uh, the knife behind there, SOG knife, and his holster, a pistol magazine pouch, and a canteen. I would just like to point out for the holster, is a bit iffy, so the pistol couldn't exactly fit inside, which is a real shame. And down to his boots. Now let's take a look at the back of the figure. And this is the back of the figure, starting with the head. The back shot of the beret. You can see his uh, colonel insignia over there. Uh, more insignia. Uh, as mentioned before, I couldn't get the pistol into the holster, so I kind of tucked it behind there. And here's a nicer shot of the knife, his SOG knife. And here are the weapons the figure comes with, starting with his uh, CAR-15. As you can see, it comes with uh, two types of magazine. 
one short and one long. As I mentioned before, he comes with an absurd amount of magazines. If I'm not mistaken, about uh, 27. Yeah, so 18 short and 9 long. That's a lot of magazines. And his uh, sidearm, the Beretta M9, which does not come with any magazines, additional magazines, I mean. And lastly, his uh, SOG knife. All in all, they are great figures. I highly recommend them for any uh, modern or special forces figure collectors out there. Sadly, the set is quite rare nowadays and I've only occasionally seen them pop out on eBay for really high prices. However, if you can find them cheap-ish, I say get them as this set is really one of a kind. It's sad though, as I mentioned previously, that Dragon didn't make any more Vietnam figures, as if this figure was any indication, I'm sure they would have been excellent. Anywho, thank you for joining me on today's review, and I hope to see you all again soon. Ciao!